Hi, everybody. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Bo Greenblatt. I'm the co-founder of Up Speaker School. We're an agency of actors teaching public speaking skills, communication skills, and coaching for marketers. I'm Amanda. I lead at the customer experience team at a financial software company, but personally super passionate about helping people uh, have more meaningful conversations and connect more deeply. So um, for this exercise, we, we thought, so Jamie and Ben took, um, took the route of connecting through physical connection. We thought that we would explore connection through conversation and vulnerability. So yeah, these two things that are, seem to be resonating a lot are emotional and mental energy and also uh, connection. So we're gonna try to activate both of those. So please stand up and find yourself a partner who you haven't worked with yet, somebody you haven't worked with yet, and connect. And then I'll give you further instructions. <laughs> Oh no, we're missing somebody. Okay, great. Okay, everybody, listen up very carefully to the instructions. Everyone, listen up. Thank you. Okay, here's the instruction. Uh, one person's gonna go first. You're gonna say, I really want to seem blank. How you wanna be perceived. Sound or seem, how you wanna come across to other people. Second one is, I'm actually terrified I seem blank. What you really wanna seem and what you're really scared that you may seem. And then one person's gonna go. Uh, we're gonna have try to one minute per person and you can ask some follow-up questions, whoever's listening. Very quickly, we're just gonna do 60 seconds. Then we're gonna switch and do 60 seconds for the other person. Clear? Okay. Started timing, but I was like trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Come back together, please. Take a chance to sit down. Okay, really quickly. Can, can everybody shout out some words of I want to seem? Just shout out what you said or what you heard. Clear? Huh? Friendly, clear. Strong. Approachable. 
Confidence. Like I know what I'm doing. Great. I'm, I'm terrified, I seem. Confused. Confused. Lame. Disingenuous. Intimidating. Unprepared. Wonderful. Great, thank you guys very much. So then one question. Um, how, many, how many of you, when you shared what you were terrified about, actually had your partner relate to what you shared and kind of say you did? Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. How many people um, felt like they were about to share something and stopped themselves because they didn't want to be too much, too intense? Yeah? Great. What was the thought process there? Oh, yeah. Um, just being vulnerable, revealing myself, uh, being judged, you know. Oh, not wanting to be vulnerable, yeah? Yes. Okay, one thing that comes up for me a lot in terms of the emotional energy is I think we waste a lot of time communicating ineffectively. So we think we have to be professional in the entrepreneur space or the, the coaching space or consulting space. So we spend a lot of time going like, I better be presentable and packaged. And that's exhausting uh, from personal experience, right? So one thing I always uh, try to talk about is try to be as authentic as possible because then you waste not a lot of energy. You waste a lot less energy when you actually connect with people and are willing to share. I, th I think the thing to add to that is, like as humans, it's literally in our DNA to want to connect. And one of the things that stops us from connecting from others is the fear that, or I guess the belief that we're alone and feeling the way that we do. So by focusing on what everyone else is thinking, we're actually giving our energy away to them. But by really connecting with ourselves and focusing on uh, like opening up and being vulnerable, that actually gives us the chance to connect and get energy from other people. And one last thing is we've talked a lot about evolutionary psych and evolutionary um, uh, processes today, right? The kind of foods we're eating, the kind of exercises we're doing, and, and, uh, and fear responses and stressors. So one thing I want to add to that is there's one interesting thing about, because I, I read a lot of evolutionary psych and I talk about it in my work, but there's actually some uh, mistakes it gives us. Like we can't just live the way we used to because things aren't the same. So one thing that's different is when we used to stand up in front of our tribe, if we said something wrong, we might get murdered or like banished from the cave. So the stakes were like super high. We're like, if I stand up and said, hey, there's some berries over there and there's no berries, and it's like, well, they like throw you out of the cave and then you're eaten left to the tiger. wolves, eaten yeah. by a tiger. So the stakes for bad public speaking or bad communication used to be really, really high. But they're not like that anymore because our, our networks are more uh, spread out and diversified. So we don't have to constantly prove ourselves anymore, but that instinct is very, very deeply embedded. So recognizing that and starting to let it go, I think is really important. Great, thank you guys.